is Eric from EJ Cigar Box Guitars. I've got here one of the CB Giddy kits. So with this one, I added a single coil pickup in the neck. I've got a piezo under the bridge, each to its own volume knob. And I've got authentic 12 gauge shotgun shells. Got an output jack there. This is just my own guitar. I put electric guitar strings on it. Now, when I compare something here, um, you remember in a previous video, I talked about the hubcap power. It's the same kit. see here. I had taken the screws out of this one and put pieces of walnut in there. I didn't take the screws out of this one. The only thing they've done is changed the top. Everything else. So this I believe is weathered oak. I used early American stain on this one. This has a P90 with a preamp. This is a single coil with a piezo. Other than that, same guitar. Slightly different sound. I mean, this is a resonator, but this isn't. Now, the problem they made with this is the bridge they include with the kit is way too big. Put your strings way too high. It'd be fine if you want to play with the slide, but you're not likely to buy a fretted guitar to play it fretless. Now, I figured out why they made that mistake. On the resonator, the bridge goes below the top of the guitar. I think you can see it there. So if you put it like this, you can see how much that sticks up. Half of the saddle is below the top. So I think what they did is used a normal saddle, but because you're flush with the top, it caused the strings to be way too high. So I had to make a new saddle for this. So you can see the action we have there. It's more where it should be. If I had used theirs, the strings would have been way up here. Way, way too high. So I don't know what that's gonna cause they're going to be sending people free saddles <laughs> or what they're going to do but I can see them having a lot of unhappy customers over that. So what we're going to do is plug in so you can hear these pickups. We're going through the little quarter amp. and we plug it in to our output jack. doesn't go very loud, but so that's just the uh, single coil. The single coil in this configuration is acting as the master. So we can turn on our piezo, so that's both. If I turn the single coil right off, you're not getting anything. You gotta crack it open a bit. Let's turn some gain so we can louder. So there's your piezo. If you turn that off, it's dead. You gotta crack it open just a little because the single coil is the master. Now we can turn the piezo right off and the single coil still works. It's not a bad kit. 
just made a mistake with the um, saddle. The single coil, it's the first time using this exact kind. Uh, it comes with a cover. I took the cover off and it already had rounded edges in for the pickup itself. So all I had to do is take the cover off. And there was a little bit of glue I had to, but it didn't take much to get that glue off. It's a nice little pickup. It's not as wide this way as the single coils I usually use, but it is taller this way. So it's something to keep in mind if you're trying to make it fit into a specific uh, area. Like some cigar boxes will have a brace. This could end up too wide for that brace. But other than that, it's not too bad. They just need to figure out um, how to send a saddle that actually fits the guitar. Not the one they've been sending. So I can see people returning it. Or at least um, majorly complaining. As I've said before, I never put strap buttons right here. Because when you do that, the guitar is going to center with the strap. If you're doing this, it puts the guitar more this way, which is a more natural position. So, I mean, on eBay you can get these little straps that go under the strings on the headstock. I like using those. Um, if you don't want to, a lot of guitar straps now come with a piece of string. And you just tie that to your strap and tie it around the headstock. And you can put that on any guitar you want. But these look a little bit nicer. I've got one on the resonator. So these are the same guitar, the only difference is the front. That is not too bad. I did put the strings the opposite on this. You can see I put them from underneath. Resonator, I put them from the top, and I do recommend using a nail so they don't slip through. While you're stringing up, they want to slip through those holes. It's sold as an acoustic guitar, which gives you limitations. And that's all you'll have without an electric component. So any other kits, I do recommend making them electric. And I like using two different types of pickups. It gives you a lot more options tonal options, especially when you're doing piezo and a magnetic coil.
small amp like this, you might want to have the gain on a little bit. But I mean, when you're getting a portable amp for like 40 bucks, you're not going to get a whole lot out of it. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, you can look up EJ's Cigar Box Guitars on Facebook and Instagram. And like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good shit. Catch you later.